You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. Wow, this is a hell of a car. How did you get your hands on it? It was a gift from a friend of mine. A car like this? That's a hell of a friend. This friend will meet. Is it someone I know? No. Nah. Ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of him. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's a new Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall, Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Ooh. Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Are hey, you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brain. Hey, this fella down here's got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Mana could be upstairs. Let's go. Fucking Aldridge. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmano was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmano spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. 
You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. We got some questions for you. Why the hell did you make me chase you like that? Come meet my friends. Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Well, is that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name, Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. No telling what Aldridge is after. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. So from the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Nung MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn runs. 
My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> There's a way in down here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! You see what I did to your friend here? Is that the mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah. How well? That mean? We better hurry the fuck up. Let's keep moving. Robo gear! Eyes up. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. 
Anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right. Just... Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of boy. <sighs> How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me. Who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. Gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it. I'm on the call. Damn it. What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it.
There was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. This man, Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in to Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldridge's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. All right, we'll get there right quick. How exactly does an old money shop like Bois Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working with the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on. Come on. My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's Bois Rose. No sign of Aldridge's murders. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. Closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look, last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit. Thanks. You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? These motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now.
train all the way to the end train. Got your ass now. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Paez, you're riding shotgun. Lincoln. I'm on the tour. You read my mind. Donovan, we got company. I see that. Lay down some fire. Don't stop until all the mercs are dealt with. He's a doctor. I'm gonna need a doctor now. Gonna make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Coño. Get those fuckers off our asses, Lincoln. That's it. That's it. Brace yourself. Here we go. Oh, shit. Of them. Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. Uh, Hold on, buddy. Uh, We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. <sighs> Tell me your name. Reuben. Reuben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield medals. Do you know what that means? No. Things are going to be just fine. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Yeah. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? I, 
last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and uh, 87, 87.9 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles. So we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I'm cago en tu madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey! Oh, you bastard. Boat's fueled, our course charted. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. He'll be there. He will be. Has to be. All right, man, enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldrich. It's 1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. Monday, John. Chongqing, Shaq. Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? The U.S. government executes traitors, you know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you, but I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. Shoot things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those Salk Recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Trong told me? Right now, every morn in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Uh, that's funny. That's real funny. <laughs> Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. And Aldridge escaped. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Come on, let's go find that goddamn piss ant.
Let's move to high ground, get eyes on the situation. Got intel on this place? Used to have a decent fishing industry, but that died off a while ago. Residents relocated to the mainland. Island's been abandoned ever since. Of Pez, or what remains of it anyway. Looks like Aldrich's Merc set up camp by that old church. Someone must be in charge down there. We should see what we can get out of it. Looks like they got some high power weaponry over there. One asshole manning it. Try not to piss him off? No, nah, I'm just gonna go give him a hug. <laughs> Roger. Roger. Where they got you going? <coughs> Clearing up ahead. Uh, two, two, maybe three clicks. Merc motherfuckers. to the Mad Doctrine, the only thing keeping us from full-scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad, it's our failsafe. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. What you're saying is you have no idea. Not a goddamn clue. Plan? 
If I can get up on that ridge and catch those assholes off guard, it may save us some trouble. Hey, all right. Give it's me a hand low ground for me. Time for cuddling later. God damn. From here, that plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. Yeah, but this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying that. Eyes on a Merc. Putting him down. He's not making it off the island. Thank you is all you really need to say. Just making it easy for you down there. Hey! Oh, man. There's a turret here. Resist, brother, resist. Huh? Now let's hit these cocksuckers with all we got! After you, Pansy. <laughs> God damn it! He beat us here. Well, he couldn't have gone far with that thing. Don't fucking move. The two of you. Turn around slowly. Where's the warhead? Mr. Aldrich is going to be real happy to see the two of you. Hey, shit for brains. I asked you a goddamn question. Where's the nuke? Ask me again, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's Aldridge doing? But the war! Ah! Hmm? He's got a contact huh? in the NVA! So, General, he's paying big money for it! Motherfucker! I swear it's the truth! Shh, shh, uh, quiet. Uh, ah! Take 
that motherfucker out! Aldridge down with selling a nuke to the NBA. Well, if you remove a man's moral compass, loyalty to his home country, and then fill it up with anger and resentment, you'd be surprised what you can get him to do. Some good training. I've been through it all, and I'm an old hand. And I'll understand if you go. So we'll go the rest of the way on foot. The NBA. Oh, is really crazy enough to do that? Crazy enough? No. Angry enough? Maybe. There goes a new. Is that a 
Those commie motherfuckers did it. They built a goddamn base, missile silo and all, right off our own coast. We need to get down there. Hard to tell what we might run into, so stay close. None of your spook pals knew about this base. No idea. Chatter about plans for it. But no confirmation that we started, let alone gotten this far along. We need to secure the area. We've been On spotted. Feels like I ought to get a tetanus shot once we're out of here. The warhead must have gone into this elevator. Podvanai Bokta. Shit. Which goes straight down to a submarine bay. That must be how he's getting the nuke off the island. How do we get down? Looks like the red service line on the ground will lead there. <sighs> red. Of course it's red. What do we do now? Can't exactly knock and ask him to give the nuke back. No. But I can hotwire those doors, probably get them open 30, 40 seconds tops. All right. I'll cover them. Christ, Matt, was that you? Uh, maybe. Mother I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably gonna get real popular around here. Fuck. Just get the goddamn door open. <laughs> Thinly veiled in our so-called patriotic 
duty. You heard what they did. The people we call our enemies, the Russians. I'll make it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God bless you, Jack Kennedy. The silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where we'll find Aldrich. Oh. Get this duck fucker off me! Get him a bullet! This is the last moment of your miserable life! If you got any more buddies, they're in the wind. Sure, this will take us to the submarine bay. Are you doubting the ability to translate Russian? Hell yeah, I'm absolutely doubting it.
Finish. Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like... You're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> What the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them are scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? <laughs> And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talk to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that! <sighs> and for what? God, I used to admire you! <sighs> Thought you represented everything great about this country. But you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. I'll get those doors open. Time to blow this pop stand. 
get in. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, I'm afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Rotorhead 1, moving into position. So that's your bird! Didn't I say trust me? Where the fuck did they go? God damn it! Clear the head out! They're on the house! Take the shot! Fire free. mean to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, god damn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? Now, who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor.